Hello guys, Kieran here with Explorminate. Uh, welcome to a early access preview video of a game that's actually pretty darn new to early access. This is Northgard. Um, now, this game, I have, uh, you know, full disclosure, I've spent just over an hour with it. Um, and, and not to, you know, be too biased out the gate, but I'm already kind of heads over, heads over heels in love with it um, for a lot of reasons. Um, the music, the um, art, art direction, and then the gameplay is is simple, but satisfying. Um, you're not going to get as deep as, you know, typical 4X game, but this is more of a, well, an RTS with a few 4X elements, I'd say, thrown into it. Um, a little about the game, it just hit early access. I would think it was like last week. Um, 21st or something like that, uh, somewhere around there, right? Don't don't quote me on that, but relatively, w it's within a week still. And I did see something on Polygon.com. At least for a time, it was uh, number one seller on the Steam list. I think it was number three when I was looking last night or this morning now. Uh, but this game's definitely getting traction, and it deserves it. What Northgard is, if you can't tell from this, it is a Viking game. Um, you get to pick as. Well, there's a campaign coming, multiplayer coming. We're obviously not previewing those. You get to pick one of um, a few different factions. Um, so they have the Hydran, the Oakenthern, and Fenrir. Probably botched those. I'm sure not. some of you know how to say that better. But essentially what these clans do, they provide slight differences in the bonuses for, the, um, for, for how you play. Um... And then one thing to to disclose here too, music might be a little louder than normal. It's just phenomenal. I wanted that in the movie. And actually the last couple minutes, I'm just going to go back to the menu or whatever and just turn the music up and let you listen to it if you want because that is one of the best parts of this game. Um, back to these races though. Uh, not races, the clans, excuse me. So you have a small starting bonus and then your fame bonuses. These just have to do with... Um, Fame, I, I, well, we'll show it. It's just something you generate. It's how well known you are among the different clans. So I've played as the Hedron before. I haven't played as these guys. Um, and then I played uh, the Fenrir, definitely for the bonus for outside of your territory. Um, I'm going to go with the with Fenrir again. They're aggressive, protective of their freedom, and more than a little reckless. That definitely works, especially for this series. Um, let's just jump right in here. Loading screen, everything is already very well streamlined, I feel like. Um, and here we are. So, here is the game. You start out with three, um, villagers. And I'm going to explain kind of what they do as I go along. But basically, what you need to know is everyone is a villager. You just assign them to different tasks. Which is a really interesting way to address a game um, and you know in all honesty most of the game is devoted to um, kind of the empire management here balancing these and such you could get an army um, but for example my first playthrough I had eight um, well they weren't berserkers they were just regular warriors and then a war chief running around so a uh, few things to show here you got your resources you have stone and iron. Iron is something you typically find, but both that and stone, you'll find and mine them, but they are um, finite resources. They're not used indefinitely there, um, which is interesting. Uh, food and wood and then the crowns are, however. So you will continue to produce uh, basically villagers. Um, Yes, villagers. I want to make sure I get that right. <laughs> uh, as long as you're happy and you have the housing for it. So I will need to build a house soon. One thing you see me doing here, you know, I mentioned um, it has some 4X elements. This is exploration right here. And uh, I build a scout and he takes some time to go to the adjacent territory. Until I explore it, I'm actually not going to even be able to um, go there. So that's what the scout does only really ever built one but it is kind of just a really unique and interesting feature I haven't seen before uh, in a game so we found this area next to us let's look at it anything special about it 
It has a lore a rune stone that you can use a lore master to generate more lore, which is basically like your research tree. Um, and then this is a shipwreck, which we can explore it and find some wood and crowns. Oh, that is awesome. So we have a woodcutter's lodge, we have a scout camp. Probably should build a home here. Let's build a house. There we have it. And quickly, come over here. Scout, can you go scout? Scoutify this? No, it's not letting me scout it. Scouts explorers wreck where you'll find crowns of wood. Why not? Maybe it's because I have the wolf there. Hmm. Well, still figuring a few things out with the game, but see another territory here. This one does have stone, 40 stone, and then trees, obviously. So, here we are. We have our house built. We are capped out. So that is why we're building the house. And then I'm going to colonize this area in a moment. Let us... Oh, there's a wolf there we'd have to take care of. Interesting. Do we have fish off here? We don't have fish off here. So how much else does he have? 25? I have 50. I think my two villagers need to come over here. Oh, I can't until I colonize it, can I? In that case, let's colonize this. Build scout camp, woodcutter's lodge, training camp, training post, healer's hut. Okay. So they're still just kind of passively gathering food right now. Nothing great. Let's head this way. I'm looking for fertile fields um, because food is one thing that is kind of hard to come by. And I do want to prepare a better um, income. Uh, because winter's coming. You notice down here there's a little map, and when winter comes, you actually will produce less food and things like that. So there is a constant um, seasonal cycle. It's mostly winter and then the rest of the year, from what I can tell, um, but kind of cool. Um, any, anyhow there. Do I have enough to build a training camp? I do. I think that's maxed out. Now, each region, another thing you do have to balance here, is each region is limited in the number of buildings you can build. So that's why I was kind of him hawing around there what I'm going to do. You notice the weather changes. You get rain, you get sun, you get snow, I think is what I've seen. So all very cool effects there. We have we've got some deer. It's a good place to hunt. Hunting is another way to gain food. Oh, someone's getting attacked. Um, well, thanks a lot, Mr. Wolf. That's rather mean of you. We're going to take that wolf out. He's wandering in our territory. So you do have to worry about little, you know, if there's an adjacent enemy, you got you to gotta watch it. Because they will uh, come, come through and attack you. And that could be a lot of different things, I guess. Wolves, bears monsters other players so hopefully we'll run into a few other neat neat um, variants in this video so uh, right now I am a chieftain there's a few different victory types let's pull those up you win by defeating everyone through fame which you generate in various ways controlling areas and then gaining fame trade by having a bunch of money or wisdom which is like your science victory so um, I mean, I, I had my whole playthrough in about an hour. It was on normal. I don't know, and I do want to caution people, uh, I, I don't know what would be required or how to make this a, you know, four or five hour game. I don't know if that's really possible. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be. Um, ooh. Where's my scout? Where's my scout? Did he die? Nobody's there? Okay, good. So these are Dragger tombs. I get some fame for colonizing and these are just kind of monsters. We can zoom in and look at them. Kind of like dead looking guys with spears and stuff. Pretty neat though. Pretty neat though. Um, do I colonize this first? This really doesn't have anything to it. Let's go up here. Oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> that warrior is quite weak. Okay, colonize for 20 food. We don't have 20 food yet. Would be nice to colonize this area though. 
Oh, this is a much better area to colonize. Get your butts down here. Because we have deer to hunt. That's a kind of a renewable source of food. Remember I mentioned the problems with winter. Um, it, it would take care of that for sure. So, what do I need to colonize this? Oh, I'm going to have to colonize around here, aren't I? It's not connected. Darn it. Um, so to take a crap area to get to better areas? Oh, well, Blue's already taken that. So, yes, definitely colonize that. we got to cut them off. And then Boy. warriors go back. I don't need warriors right now. I need people to produce food. This, this place literally is empty. That is... That's terrible. Usually places aren't that empty. Whatever, though. That is what it is. So we'll have more people producing food. This way we put all our villagers on it. Because I want to make sure... Oh, it costs 40 food, though? Ugh. Well, that's too bad. Well, we'll hang there a second. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Let's see if there's any research we have. We can do extra money, extra crowns for each guy we kill, or for coat... Um, or trading, or sharp axes. Hmm. We're gonna hold off because we don't have enough for anything yet. But um, should be noted, I think the research trees are basically the same for the different uh, factions. So have not seen a big change there. Oh, someone's up on a hill there. That is cool. I wonder how it'd get to them. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Let's colonize this area, and then with that, we're gonna send a couple villagers. Well, one for starters down here. I'll send another one, why not? We are going to build a hunting camp? What is it called? Hunter's Lodge. There we go, just in time for winter. And then build me a house, please. So we can continue to gain villagers. it okay so we have entered winter so we are actually not producing as much food as we'd want to and of course again we are kind of landlocked here i'm not landlocked sorry population blocked we're not landlocked that is the last thing we are got a nice gnarly bear down here some shipwrecked area I'm trying to see where if anywhere else i should colonize okay Get in there. We have over here just trees. Okay, come explore over yonder. Keep him moving about. There we are. And that is now full. Okay. This also has iron, so we will want to make a villager come down to construct a mine. Now, oh, I already have my two buildings. Ooh, garbage. That's bad. Um, build a house then. Destroy that house. And have you build the mine. There we go. That was bad. I forget that these areas are limited. So, um, I'm going to keep playing through. I'm going to narrate the game a little less. I'm going to talk about a kind of, I guess, sum it up here the last 5-10 minutes. So, Things that are really great about the game, again, I think it looks beautiful. Um, and honestly, it kind of... This is one of those games I feel like, oh, we're getting attacked by someone? What a bunch of punks. Okay. Uh, never mind. We're going to do a little bit of this. Um, don't take my area. Down here, do not cap my area. You guys stinking suck. All right. Um, love what the way it looks. It's just a really pretty game. And then um, also the the music, like I said, is just perfect. Um, it's just totally amazing. Um, those those are definite pluses. You don't have to have a pretty looking or pretty sounding game, right, for it to uh, be worthwhile. But it definitely helps, right? Um, also with that. Um, the gameplay is pretty satisfying. I mean, it is mostly built around the, um, I guess, resource management loop, if that makes sense. 
uh, moving villagers around, making sure you maximize where people are and things like that. But it totally works. Um, oh, here comes Summer. Uh, it's not the kind of game you would purchase to um, play for hours and hours on end. It's it's not an XCOM 2. It's not a Civilization or a Stellaris, right? But I do want to stress it doesn't have to be, you know? We love 4X games here at Exploraminate. But honestly, this is one of those kinds of games that just reminds me why I play games, honestly. Um, the best comparison I can put here is um, Ori and the Blind Forest, if anyone is familiar with that game. Beautiful game. Uh, just straight beautiful. Um, and most importantly, uh, it, it it's a game, right? Uh, it actually, ironically, is very similar to this in terms of the, the art, art style and the music is great. But it's it doesn't try to be more than it needs to be, you know? Uh, I'm not trying to throw the Call of Duties or, you know... Uh, Destinies or Halos of the World under the bus, but you know, those are what you see marketed when you're watching Hulu a lot more, right? The big blockbuster games, and I think those especially sometimes lose their heart or are easier, it's easier to do so. Um, with this, though, this is a, it's just a satisfying, fun, simple game to play. I sat down, I figured out what I was doing in about 20 minutes. It doesn't really have this massive learning curve or anything you have to worry about, uh, and there's definitely some replayability there. Uh, I don't know what the game's going to retail for. The devs don't really either <laughs> in their uh, post. Right now, I think it's about 17 bucks for early access, which this video's not there to tell you go buy it or anything, but it's to try to give you an idea of is this worth it to me to buy it. Um, and I, I can't answer that for you. I, I can't. Um, but hopefully by seeing the video here and um, some of the gameplay, you get an idea of what it is. What you're not seeing here is the upgrades being grabbed, really, which is fine. Uh, you're not seeing diplomacy, because that's one thing that's going to be added. But besides that, the game seems pretty much feature complete, minus the campaign and the couple other um, clans they're going to include there. So um, when you're watching this or if you check out other Let's Play series, you know, I'm not going to do a full Let's Play on, on this. Uh, what you see is largely what you're getting, so don't worry, you're not going in blind. You, you have a pretty good, ed pretty good idea of what's going on. I mean, you do have fishermen, sailors, brewers, smiths, and then a little bit stronger troops you can have. But it's all built on the same general idea that's already present here, so uh, and, and that you've seen. So that is that's Northgard. Um, really fun little game. Oh, dang it, I'm going to die here. So gonna die. Um, well, we're, that's fine. We're, we're gonna die. Um, <laughs> let's go recruit some people here. I need to make a defensive building, I think, here. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the enemy can get a little aggressive, definitely, which is great. You know, like a little bit of a challenge, I think. At least I do. Whoa! They must have upgraded their guys, because they are definitely taking me out. We do need to defend ourselves. Can you do that? Well, we should have built a defensive tower. But, um, oh, the enemy always has these fields, those lucky dogs. Um, but yeah, so I think I'll leave it there. A few more things to touch on. Someone did find the gates of Helheim. Helheim? Oh, Helheim, I think so I say that. Not the best of my Viking lore. That's a victory condition. That's your king of the hill. Control that victory condition. So, um, there's the game. That's what we're looking at, guys. So, I've had a lot of fun with it. Again, probably put about an hour and a half into it before this. Um, losing the territory sadness. Uh, we'll just have to recolonize that in a second. But overall, very satisfying. So, what I'm going to do here is actually just back out of this. Gonna go to the title page. Well, we're actually just gonna sit here. I'm gonna mute my mic and I'm gonna turn the music up. So if you want to listen to music for a few minutes, it's it's stinking beautiful. So enjoy it. Um, otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Uh, let us know in the either on the forums or uh, comments below if you have any questions on the game. I am open to doing a uh, let's play series if there's enough desire for that, but. 
I don't really think there needs to be one. That's why I opted for just the early access video here. Um, but you know, if the community asks, we'll provide it. So as always, thanks and have a good one.